When designing tertiary filtration, one of the first decisions to make is whether to use a depth or a surface filter. Each has benefits and each has drawbacks. However, there is a relatively new technology that can offer the best of both worlds. And the secret to this technology is in these compressible synthetic fiber balls. Depth filters, such as downflow deep bed and dual media filters, have been trusted, robust workhorses that can handle high fluctuations in solids. You can think of them like an absorbent sponge. The depth of the filter bed offers a place to absorb process changes and upsets. And although conventional media filters are very well understood, their downside is that they tend to require a large surface area, and because of their bed depth, a large volume of media. Consequently, these filters tend to take up a lot of space and can be expensive. The other option is surface filtration, such as cloth disc filters, which require significantly less space. However, the lack of media bed depth means they cannot withstand influent upsets and only work well in steady, clean water applications. No changes, no upsets, no variability without changing out media. And even then, there is nowhere to store the solids so any upsets will lead to excessive backwash, or worse, a bypass. Think of these like a coffee filter. Great at straining things out, but can't absorb a mess like a sponge would. And let's face it, this can be a messy business. These filters cannot handle high or variable solids or hydraulic loading changes. It is clean water in, cleaner water out, but in that particular niche, these are a great option. Also, because these are highly mechanical devices, they require a lot of maintenance and very involved media cleaning, which we hear from operators can be quite messy. And this is where we introduce our fuzzy little friend here. The most recent innovation in tertiary filtration are compressed media filters, like the Schreiber Fuzzy Filter. These filters, as the name would suggest, consist of a bed of compressible media and fill the gap between the two more traditional filter options. Because the flow is through the media, they not only have the compact design and similar installation costs of disc filters, but also the bed depth to handle highly variable solids loading. They don't require hands-on media cleaning like disc filters, and the media is all contained so there is no media loss like traditional granular media filters are susceptible to. Media life is typically over 10 years, and if needed, it can be easily replaced by vacuum removal without significant labor expense or operational downtime. Beyond being the best of both worlds in terms of space and solids loading, they have a number of advantages that neither disc nor conventional filters have. Compressed media filters have hydraulic loading rates of three to eight times greater than either sand or disc filters, resulting in a much smaller footprint. This is because flow is through the compressible media, as opposed to around a sand grain, typical of granular media filters. They can be operated upflow or downflow, and the porosity of the bed depth can be changed in real time by compressing the media through the touch of a button on HMI controls. They have a very high solid storage with up to 85% void volume available, but have a footprint of around 20% of a granular media filter. No production of clean water is required for media washing as influent water is used, and wash water volume required is very low at around 1-2%. to Conventional granular media filters and surface disc filters struggle to keep up with this efficiency, particularly during challenging loading events. So is this it? Have we created the panacea of tertiary filtration and solved everyone's needs? Of course not. As with any technology, there are going to be positives and negatives. So the sales guys did not like me saying the word negative, so let's try this again. With any technology, there are going to be design considerations. In this case, it comes down to backwashing. Unlike disc filters, which operate continuously, these filters have to be taken offline for a short time to backwash, which adds a need for redundancy for continuous operations. This tends to not be a big deal with larger installations, and even in smaller ones, with the extra filter needed, the space requirement is still around 80% less than a conventional downflow granular media filter, and comparable in price and footprint to a disc filter. 
check out this video to see how these compressible media filters work.